Hello everyone out there on the internet. Welcome to another video with me, John. Today, as you can see, I'm going to be doing another ramen video. And this ramen video is going to be another in the line of the 7-Eleven premium bowls that you can only get from Japan, where each bowl uh, is a collaboration between Nissan brand foods, 7-Eleven, and some Japanese ramen restaurant and today's ja Japanese ramen restaurant is called Ipudo or Ipudo or Ipudo I'm not sure the exact way to pronounce it ironically Ipudo does translate somehow to blowing wind um, I guess the owner of it said that he was going to blow away the competition or blow a wind of new uh, ramen restaurant in Japan but this is a tonkatsu and Ipudo is the most famous tonkatsu restaurant in Japan very closely rivaled um, maybe perhaps by a company called Ichiran which I also did a video on before where they had a couple different instances out there and I kind of dressed it up as I best could to make it look like what they serve in the stores. Well, in the Apudo Premium Bowl, they give you everything that they serve in the store in the restaurant in some instant fashion. So this one, it did have a dried piece of pork. You can kind of, I don't know if you can see it through here, but there's definitely like a melty fat on that pork. Also a sachet of vegetables. This had green onion and uh, some type of mushroom on it. And if you remember the Ichiran video, a lot of the ingredients on here will look similar. So I already have the noodles, the vegetables, and the meat steeping in hot water for about three minutes. Here's what the label looks like. You can see it very much resembles the Ichiran. It still has the, the meat, the mushroom, the green pepper, and that spicy stuff. But Ichiran did not have this like black oil. Um, the label that I got, well, the instructions from Japan Tellier, which is where I got everything from, translated to English, and it says it's called a perfume oil or a fragrance oil. But um, that goes on last, actually. So we have the noodles and the meat. I'm just going to give it a little stir here. And then it says to add the other packs. The, let's see here. The orange pack contains a soup powder. Again, I should have pre-opened this. Sprinkle that soup powder on there. And mix that up a little bit into the soup. Alright. Then the green pack, which is the liquid base for the soup. That's thick and creamy. In order to get a really good premium tankatsu, you need like to not be able to see through the soup. It has to be cloudy. Mix that in. Very fragrant. And that's before I even put the fragrance oil on it. Stir that up. And then the last one you put in is the red, which is the fragrance oil. This one actually does have little tear strips on it. And it, I don't know if you noticed, but there's two of them. I don't know if they are the same thing or they're two different sauces. We'll find out. 
And the first one looks like red, like it's a spicy sauce. And then let's see what the other one is. Is that the second one is the black oil? I'm guessing. Come on. Yep, that's that black flavor fragrance oil. Unfortunately, I have a cut somewhere on my thumb, and that chili is really burning. Yowza. Anyway, let's give you a close-up and we'll see what it looks like. You can see the chili and the oil sitting on top there next to the meat. Alrighty. Let's give everything a taste. I'm going to start off by breaking off some of this meat. See how well it rehydrated. So this one, it's a little thicker than the meat that came in the, uh, the first one that I did. In which was Sakura. Um, it's more of a lighter, smokier flavor than the other one I had. Let's go ahead and taste some of these noodles. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's see if I mix a little bit of the, the spice and a little bit of that black oil together with some of these noodles. Not bad at all. I'm going to see if I can find some mushroom right there. See what, how well this mushroom rehydrated. Now when I made the Ichiran ramen, I also uh, had my own mushrooms. which were dried and rehydrated. And this one acts kind of like that. They're kind of like slick on the outside, but like there's a nice crunch to them. All right, now I'm just going to get everything evenly mixed. And I'm gonna take a big old bite. fell off a lot and didn't happen to be a big old bite. I'm going to take some of the broth though. Very tasty. I'm not sure what's in that black fra fragrance oil. But it gives it like a change to the normal tonkatsu flavor that I'm used to. It's almost floral. It's different with mostly classic flavors to kind of tonkatsu that I'm used to. That that black oil just makes it different enough that it is unique. Um, if I were to compare this to the first uh, white tonkatsu that I got, which I believe was Sakura, I actually liked that one a little bit better. Um, it was richer and creamier, I think. Not to say this one is bad. This one is still an instant premium bowl. Uh, it's going to be way better than any regular pack of like pork flavor that you're going to find. You're definitely not going to find meat like this in anything but a premium bowl. The noodles themselves are the Hakata straight noodle style, which is hard to find in an instant.
I wish the broth was a little bit more stickier. And overall, just more porky flavor to it. I like that first one I had. And again, not to say this one is bad. It's probably one of the best instant noodles I've had. Uh, it's, I just think that first tonkatsu I had was better. Anyway, this was the Ipudo instant ramen. I have two more left. I believe I've saved the last uh, two for to be the best two. Um, they're both from Michelin star rated restaurants in Japan. Um, oh, one last thing. Apudo does have locations in the United States. Unfortunately, they're in like New York and California. I think there's a San Francisco one and a Berkeley one. There might be another one that I'm missing somewhere in California. But nothing near me in the Chicagoland area. So still, out of all these that I've tried, only that first one is near me. The good thing is, so far that's been my favorite. So I'm looking forward to going there and trying it at some point. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.